So today we are going to talk about my interview experience with Nokia. Since I'm based in Canada, I applied for Nokia office location in Ottawa and uh, the whole process was actually quite smooth. And in the end, I did receive an offer and I ended up working for Nokia for quite some time. It was an amazing experience. And in my opinion, Nokia is a great company to work for, like great work life balance, great technology. They are always bringing in new stuff and it's no longer just a phone company. I mean, the phone division is long gone, but it has a lot of products. And and fun fact it's actually like 150 year old company so you can imagine that they have huge contacts and a lot of products lot lot of interesting things that you can work with so let me first give you the background when i started applying so at that time i was working for royal bank of canada and uh, i had just found out that my wife was in the early stages of pregnancy but right around that time one of the recruiters reached out to me over linkedin regarding a position of software architect at nokia now i have a very dear friend who had been working with nokia for almost quite some time and uh, he had great things to say about that so i was obviously inclined towards interviewing with them we spoke back and forth with the recruiter and then we finally decided on a date now during the interview uh, it was around like 45 to 45 minutes to one hour interview and surprisingly it was just one round of interview that was like basically going to make or break the decision uh, now during the interview I was speaking with the hiring manager and I was also speaking with one of the main architects from the team uh, who was leading all the initiatives. So hiring manager obviously asked me the behavioral questions like standard questions where do you see yourself or what is your work style if you have some sort of like conflicts with the ongoing team member how would you tackle them and all, all the ge generic kind of kinds of question you can imagine I was able to answer them with flying colors. And then when we started speaking about the technical aspect, the software architect started explaining that what type of project they have and what are the things that they are planning to implement. Basically, they had like a monolith application that they wanted to uh, break into the cluster of microservices and then they wanted to set up automation and stuff like that. So rather than it being an interview of questions, thrown back and forth like we started discussing that what are the things i have done and uh, what should be the cloud adoption journey how can they start planning things what i have done in my previous roles and it was mostly back and forth regarding that type of conversation and uh, like fun fact we actually came to end and in last five minutes they asked me like some technical questions but i wouldn't say that that were too deep of a technical question but I think they, they were just looking for someone who had the experience of working with different cloud technologies, different migration and lucky for me, like I had gained great experience at RBC doing all the, that kinds of stuff. So I think in the end it worked out fine. I was actually shocked that just after one round of interview, next day I received an offer from Nokia and yeah, it was quite a quite a big pay jump from my current position I was at. So I, I was actually kind of shocked because this was the quickest interview uh, method that I have seen. And uh, honestly, in my opinion, like I wanted to give you more, but there is not much to discuss. Like it was just one round of interview, maybe like 15, 20 minutes of behavioral question, 15, 20 minutes of dis discussing different technologies and 15, 20 minutes of like maybe some technical questions. And then I got the offer. So it was quite fun. Actually, I ended up working for some time at Nokia before I got a job at Microsoft and uh, the team was really good like it had great work-life balance great team good technology and uh, very good systems of course every company has their ups and downs and flaws uh, but need needless to say my experience at nokia was wonderful i would definitely recommend everyone if the, if you can maybe try to go and start working or find a position there because it's such a huge company that is spread across the entire world. So you will definitely find a lot of interesting projects, interesting things to work upon. And uh, I personally hope that maybe sometime in the future, I can go back to Nokia and maybe continue to work there. So who knows? Uh, future is <laughs> that no one can predict the future. But yeah, that's that's my short and sweet interview experience with Nokia. Hope you find it useful. Um, let me know in the comments if you think I could have done something better. Anyways, take care. Bye.